Good morning, welcome to a combination video of public and premium forecast information. Uh, basically, we're going to go into a technical discussion and also go over the seven day forecast. And also, this is for an uh, addition to Fire Island and beyond, which I do every morning as well. So, let's just knock this out of the park here. Right now, we have snow developing throughout the New York City and Philadelphia metro. Just starting to push into the interior, getting a few flurries up here, but nothing really widespread just yet, as expected. But what has been unexpected is the heavier snowfall that has developed around central New Jersey and around the Philadelphia metro. Snow and sleep pretty much on course for southern New Jersey. We'll continue to see this mix go back and forth throughout the morning and then transition over to all mix and even some rain down towards uh, portions of Cape May, New Jersey before going back over to snow by tomorrow. Now remember, this is a long duration event. So if you're not seeing the snow that you're expecting this morning, that's because this isn't over until eh, basically tomorrow afternoon. So let me walk you through some information here, some data. Now here is our first wave of low pressure, and here's our second wave of low pressure. And these are going to ride up the coast and head out into the Atlantic as this high pressure system remains in place. So that's going to funnel cold air down the coastal plain and keep this, these low pressure systems to continue to produce precipitation throughout the region. So let's talk about why we're seeing sleet, especially down towards southern New Jersey. This is our thermal gradient. This is what we're going to be watching throughout the day today as these lines here, these cold isotherms, they're going to start to pack, okay? And when we see that packing, that's called frontogenesis. Now, we had our first surge of warm air showing up at 700 millibars, and that is why we're seeing that sleet develop as we get a little bit of a warm sector building in around that region. Notice at 925 millibars, that's non existent. And at 850 millibars, that is non-existent, except for down towards the Delmarva Peninsula. So as a result, where do we see our frontogenesis? That is where we see our thermal gradient. Well, we're seeing a very impressive area around 700 millibars, and there is your mix line as a result. And we also see that pretty nicely here at... 850 millibars was frontogenesis, but the main frontogenesis for this afternoon is going to produce some really intense precipitation. Note, I say precipitation, not just snow, but sleet, freezing rain, and rain is going to be this area right here that's going to be lifting northward and enhancing the precipitation shield and also allow for expansion into the interior, thus the three to six inch snowfall. Now, you might be noticing this snow is rather fluffy that is falling in here. Well, what that is, is your, basically your snow ratio. Let me show you something here. We'll go to HRR guidance, uh, one hour, and we'll pull up the snow ratios. Now, this is an estimate, okay, but still you get a pretty good idea of, of what we're dealing with here. And you could see we're seeing a lot of 13s, basically in the teens, all the way up into the interior. I am getting support, some reports around this area, around 20 to 1, which wouldn't be surprising considering the lifting. But the reason why I'm showing you this is that with the colder air in place, you get a higher ratio. So again, this is model estimated, so it's going to be off just a little bit. But you kind of get the idea. What I wanted to do is show you that the overall uh, environment in place is that with this very cold air in place at the lower levels again we're all in the 20s here so anything that's fallen is freezing by the way which means your snow and your sleet so that is making for a very icy situation and i'm even seeing some uh, freezing rain down here in uh, millville uh, reports of freezing rain here so that is certainly troublesome although I'm really curious to see how well that observation plays out, considering other locations are all in snow around it. But you kind of get the point here. It's an icy mess down towards southern New Jersey. Central New Jersey, Philadelphia Metro is basically back and forth. It's heavy to, heavy to moderate snow and sleet. And then you can see the snow starting to break out. And because temperatures are so cold, well, it's going to accumulate almost immediately. On the water vapor satellite picture, you see our first short wave coming in. You see this short wave back here? This is going to instigate with that low pressure system. And as they interact, that's going to support a second band of light snowfall over the coastal plain for tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon as well. And we're also starting to see that interaction here on the, on the infrared satellite picture. And you can see for today, the lifting that is setting up 
for our neck of the woods and zooming in you can see that stronger lifting here really showing up very nicely here from southeastern pennsylvania really from the baltimore metro on up through the philadelphia metro into central new jersey and now pushing into long island this is going to continue to expand and become enhanced as we move on through the day so the overall forecast hasn't changed all that much although the timing is a little bit off from what i was thinking uh yesterday afternoon uh it has certainly started off a little bit faster but the overall themes that i've been looking for pretty much are working out as exactly as planned again if you're in zone one that's up here about three to six inches of snow zone two this is where you can get your five to ten inches of snow looking at you allentown northern suburbs of philadelphia lancaster uh, up towards central connecticut again this is going to be a very fluffy dry snow but as we get into zone three we get more mixing the snow falls a little bit wetter looking at more of a four to eight inch range Again, you wouldn't be surprised if one street gets four inches and the next street gets eight inches, and it's just a matter of who gets more sleep. Zone four, again, this is cutting through uh, south central uh, New Jersey, southwest New Jersey, up towards coastal Monmouth County in the south shore of Long Island. That is where you're going to get snow to a wintry mix and ending as snow tomorrow. When I say wintry mix, I mean everything, the whole kitchen sink, snow, sleet, freezing rain, rain, back to snow, and all back over again that's where you're going to get your three to six inches of snow again by the time tomorrow afternoon rolls around that's pretty much where i think you'll end up uh, again zone five about two to four inches that's basically the jersey shore and then zone six basically cape may uh, about one to three inches of snow so what about the rest of this forecast? Well, we're going to have a wintry mix moving through today. Temperatures aren't going to be moving all that much. Mid-30s are going to be the warmest down to our southern New Jersey. That precipitation continues on through tomorrow. And I kind of want to show you, let me show you that theme here. Okay, let's see here, this right here. We'll load this real fast. And there we go. Okay, so you get your, here's your precipitation coming through. That's the first wave. Here comes the second wave developing. And this is for tomorrow. More light snow coming on through. Again, keyword here is light. And then everything pretty much coming to an end tomorrow evening. Okay, so let's say between 5 and 8 p.m. Everyone is pretty much done with this whole event. But the bulk of the heavier snowfall is today, but you're going to see this snowfall lingering on through tomorrow. And in fact, this light snow band is where you're going to get your two to four inches and one to three inches down towards the Jersey Shore. So with that being laid out, let's walk through Friday night into Saturday. High pressure builds in, skies clear out, temperatures fall off into the mid to upper teens over the interior, mid to upper 20s along the coast. Temperatures for Saturday afternoon will rise into the mid-20s to lower 30s over the interior, lower to mid-30s along the coast. Wave heights through this period basically around 4 to 8 feet. For Sunday, high pressure and complete control with clear skies. Look for lows in the single digits to mid-teens over the interior, mid to upper teens along the coast. High temperatures in the mid 20s over the interior upper 20s to lower 30s along the coast on monday an area of low pressure will approach but notice the high pressure systems off to the east that means we get a southeasterly wind and we warm up so by the time this precipitation pushes into the region late in the morning we'll see our temperatures warming up above freezing still a snow a rain um should I say snow to rain mix over the interior temperatures on monday range from the lower to mid 20s for lows throughout the region but mid 30s over the interior and upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast on tuesday sky cloud cover is expected with lows in the mid to upper 20s highs in the upper 30s to lower 40s on wednesday a weak cold front moves through with a few isolated showers look for lows in the mid to upper 20s over the interior lower to mid 30s along the coast highs in the mid 40s to lower 50s and on thursday high pressure will be off the coast with a nice southwesterly wind and that's going to lead to warm conditions with scattered cloud cover. Look for lows in the mid to upper 30s. Highs in the upper 40s to lower 50s over the interior. And mid 50s to possibly even a few lower 60s along the coast. Especially around southwest New Jersey and the Philadelphia metro. Going to warm up. Here comes spring. But watch out for this cold front and this low pressure system. Possibly for the end of next week. 
That is your forecast discussion. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen Martino. I'll be doing updates on Twitter and at the premium uh, chat room throughout the day today, answering questions and providing updates. Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.